Yo, what's good guys? I'm on vacation in Hawaii right now. I'm like sunburnt and stuff as you guys can probably see. I woke up this morning and saw that Switch was trending on Twitter in a little bitty snippet that Nintendo has made an announcement. And I wanted to wait until I was able to like get up and record so that I can react to the trailer live. So let's go ahead and jump right on that. Bro, this whole setup is so scuffed. All right, let's just, I'm, let's just jump into it. I have to like hold my laptop like this to watch this. Oh, it's Koizumi. What up, Koizumi? What's poppin', dog? Yep, I have my Switch is right here. Got it right here, boys. Oh! Bro! Dude, that actually looks really sick. I actually really like how that looks. Okay. Alright. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. Clean on the back. There's no kickstand, though. There's not a kickstand on the back. Bro, I don't know. That blue one. That blue one looks nice. I'm really digging the blue one. Not gonna lie. Bro. The 3DS is done now. Yep. OG Switch. Everybody remember the OG Switch. Jeez, I'm in such a weird position. Nintendo's advertising has improved so much, right? Like targeting the Switch at young adults instead of kids, I think was the best marketing decision that Nintendo could have made with the Switch. I think that's a big reason why it's... Oh my God. It just looks so good. Oh, I see a D-pad, okay. So because you can't detach them, instead of having these four little buttons up here, they have a real D-pad, which is sick. Hold on, so can you, can you, can you plug it in? Like, can you still dock it though? That's the question. Is it handheld only or can you actually plug it into the dock? Okay, smash. Play smash. This is pretty neat. Showing the original Switch. Okay, so you can play. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty sick. Odyssey. Oh, oh, OG boy Odyssey. <laughs> That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Man's playing Odyssey on the moon. In the moon kingdom, bro. Okay, so it's still showing just the original one in the dock. I don't know if you can actually dock this one. It doesn't show anywhere. Bro, the 3DS is done. The 3DS is done, I think. Huh. Okay. Okay. Okay, Nintendo. I'm down with it. I funks with it. Option that's optimized for handheld gameplay. Optimized. Okay, features. Let's talk about features. What do you got? Oh, there's more still. There's more. Okay, he's not done yet. He's not done yet, y'all. There's dedicated handheld. Does it connect to a TV? No. Not like this, bro. Mmm. That's a no-go for me, man. That's a, that's a hard no for me. Already. The main unit inputs are integrated. Yeah, one piece. Okay, we kind of knew that from the leaks. Okay, a D-pad. It's funny though, Nintendo doesn't sell just a normal Joy-Con that doesn't have a D-pad. HD Rumble's not in it? I don't know about all that. 
I don't know about that. I don't know how I feel. I don't, I don't feel too good about that one. All the ones that support handheld mode. Smash. Odyssey. Breath of the Wild. Okay, okay. But the price though, the price is the real is the real the real kicker here. Yeah, that that handheld mode gaming boys, it's the way to go sometimes. Okay. Okay. What price? Did they do they say a price? The price? 200 bucks, maybe? 200? I don't think they're, gonna, think they're, gonna give, they're not going to give us a price, are they? This year? September? Wow, that's soon. That's soon. That's like Christmas present. 2019 Christmas, bro. Man, they don't they don't show a price, but obviously I would make the assumption that it's probably I would say maybe in the $200 range. But something that's interesting to me though is that in Japan they actually have a unit of the Switch that's this exact one that just doesn't come with a dock in Japan for goes for the equivalent of $200. So maybe, I don't know, 99 to 150, but I feel like if they just do a $200 switch, I don't think it'll do as well because even if you get online and you do third party, you can still just get a switch console for around 200 bucks if it doesn't include the dock. So again, maybe it's, it's marketed to kids then maybe that's the big thing. I don't see any adults really picking this up. I really, I, I just don't see it. Because let me just, I'm gonna pick you guys up real fast. Let me just explain it to you, right? The big appeal of the Switch is that it's it's a Switch that you can, you know, do handheld or you can do TV mode or whatever. With this one, you completely lose that option, right? So I'm a bit conflicted on this because I can't really pick up who their target demographic is. In their trailer, they show adults, but I really see this being appealing to kids because of the lower price and then not having it hooked up to the TV and it just being one solid piece where you can't go and like attach your Joy-Con straps the wrong way and completely bust it. So something to think about. Uh, I'm going to look online real fast and see if I can get an idea. $200. Yeah, I personally for $200, I would just get another Switch console, like an original Switch console. Not for me. You, you lose out on a lot of features. I feel like it's too much compromise for just $100 off. Uh, if it was like $150 or $99, maybe I could see it then. But this doesn't, this doesn't seem like the life strat for me. Don't think I'm going to pick this one up.